Um, but yeah, hey everybody, thanks so much for joining us today. As Ian mentioned, my name is Evan Van Eekirk. I'm a solutions engineer here at Media Valet, and I'm extremely excited to chat to you all today about uh, exactly that. So how our AI features we built to the dam will make all your lives easier, and hopefully uh, check all four of those boxes that you just saw there. Uh, just to reiterate what Ian said there, we uh, would love this to be interactive, but uh, we're gonna stick with questions at the end. So please feel free to pop those in as we go so we don't forget. And then we'll be uh, happy to save a good chunk of time at the end there uh, to discuss anything we missed or hopefully any thoughts that we may provoke throughout there. So let's hop into it. So before we get into the specific features and benefits of the AI uh, that we're gonna go over from within the dam, let's chat about why AI has become so important in this digital asset management environment. So as most of us, if not everyone here will know, the need for digital content over the last decade has absolutely exploded from a handful of items every week, month, or even quarter, to now needing as many as a dozen assets per day for some organizations. From our traditional print, email marketing, to all the social media platforms we need to keep up with, it's a ton of content, it comes in all shapes and sizes and formats, and this hunger does not seem to be stopping anytime soon, especially with AI now playing its part in asset creation as well. So as you can imagine, and you probably experience in your day to day, it's not only the creation or the fun part of this workflow that gets demanding, but probably the, the more challenging and uh, not so fun aspect of the effective storage management organization access and distribution which presents a massive challenge. And this has brought with it a shift towards automation uh, that while for the most part, you're on your own when it comes to that content creation we mentioned, uh, we're here for you for the management aspect. So the features we're going to look at today will help you and your teams organize, locate, and use your content more effectively and help increase the ROI of your team's efforts and of the content itself. So the specific features that we're going to chat about today are allowing your team members to spend more time on high impact and often more enjoyable tasks. So I guess that was option D on the, uh, the poll there. Uh, providing your teams with a wide variety of assets in their day-to-day, -day, including enabling the reuse of assets rather than letting them fall to the wayside once we've used them once. Also, the ability to manage assets, which contain specific people. And then finally, to extract valuable insight from our video assets, another rapidly growing file format. So first, let's take a look at how Media Valet can help free up your team's time spend more time on those high impact, high value, the more fun tasks. So the main feature we wanna highlight that allows us to do this is our auto tagging. So for those of you here who are already Media Valley customers, shout out to our Media Valley family. Uh, you're probably and hopefully well aware of this feature, hopefully huge fans of it. For those of you who are not, uh, what's gonna happen is every asset that you upload into Media Valley is automatically gonna be tagged with a wide range of metadata, including common objects, colors, texts, which automatically becomes searchable metadata with you doing nothing other than clicking upload. This saves time for administrators and power users because now they only have to tag business critical metadata that may be unique or specific to your business and your needs. And it also saves, saves time for those end users who now can find assets much more quickly based on logic. So as we can see here, I've uploaded some assets into my digital asset management environment. And if we click on this one here that I uploaded yesterday, Worth noting, I have added no metadata to this asset manually whatsoever. I simply dragged it into the dam and uploaded it to one category. I didn't add any keywords. I didn't add a description. I didn't add any custom attributes. I didn't even change the uh, title as you can see there. But already just by uploading, I have this large list of valuable terms that are gonna allow my users and myself to find this asset based on any one of them. So as you can see, it automatically identified fruit, drink, juice, you even assume that this may be a cocktail as well as food for the garnish. Uh, and on that point, we can remove tags if we need to. So if food isn't relevant to this post for you, then we can go ahead and remove that ourselves. The second piece we like to show when it comes to the auto tagging is the optical character recognition or the text recognition. And so of course this is gonna work with your basic documents that uh, you may assume when you hear text recognition. So it'll make your documents searchable within the dam but also it's gonna pick up any type uh, text within images as well. So even this small print on these bottles here is going to become searchable metadata as we can see here. And this will apply to a wide variety of real life 
uh, situations. We have customers who are using this for jerseys on their sports teams, uh, for example, billboards, marketing materials. So probably one of the biggest uh, advocates of this feature for us is uh, our friends over at Highgate Hotels. And so they regularly source their content from external contributors, such as freelancers, photographers, and influencers. Uh, and to receive this content, they've actually decided a smart choice to grant access to these individuals by creating a custom user group so they can come right into the dam, upload their assets, uh, and as Highgate puts it, I quote, rather than using 20 different applications to upload and download again. And the beauty of auto-tagging is that once they do this, it ensures that all the assets contain that valuable metadata we just saw without having to train uh, or guide or supervise our outside contributors to adhere to our metadata policies. Uh, we know how hard that is with our own internal parties, so uh, I wouldn't want to try it with, uh, with someone who's freelancing. The example that they like to give to us is if they're looking for images of a Mai Tai, while the AI can't quite get that specific, it doesn't know what ingredients are in that beautiful cocktail, but they can search for drink or cocktail, and then those assets that contain a Mai Tai are going to come up for them. All right. So sticking with the theme of discoverability uh, and of our assets, let's move to the second benefit uh, brought on by our AI. And that is ensuring the high usage and continued ROI of your content that you create. So as you mentioned earlier, the need for the content is rapidly growing, which makes it easier and easier for that content to fall into the abyss uh, once we're done with it. And while this may be commonplace, we do not believe that it has to be or that it should be the norm. There's often instances where the content we've created and spent valuable time and money on can be reused. And there's several AI features that we offer that can help make that easy. So the first, obviously, we just saw was the common uh, object, color, and text recognition. But probably the most powerful and helpful is the newest member to the Media Valley AI family, and that's smart image search. So what this does is it allows users to search for assets based on both very vague or very specific ideas in their head that can help them find an asset that they know exists as well as potentially a suite of assets they've forgotten about or never knew existed. So a couple of examples of these uh, search types that we can do now uh, above and beyond the metadata that we have done before is contextual understanding, conceptual search, relationship identification, and also synonym recognition. Uh, but this is best shown uh, live. So let's take a look into my dam here. So uh, Originally, when we search for an asset, we're usually doing so with metadata in mind. So we'll be thinking what is going to be tagged to the asset in kind of more vague, simple terms. But now we can look for a much more broad and specific, much more specific uh, criteria or topic. So as you can see, I've searched for both students, which is a, maybe a search we would have done in the past. But I've also added that they're studying for a test. So the system has recognized potential students and what they are potentially doing. And as we can see here, it's uh, brought up students setting for tests. And just to demonstrate the power of this, if we turned off that search and relied purely on metadata, we're not gonna be able to find any results because no one has added a specific metadata tag of this into our system. Another one that I like to show, I don't know about everyone else here, but being born in the 90s has destroyed my ability to spell. So uh, I rely on the, the auto, Correct from Apple and uh, the other technology providers. And uh, now Media Valley can help as well. So as we can see, Coca-Cola with the base metadata search, it's not going to exist because our team does not allow misspelling for our metadata terms. But if I made a mistake with smart search, it's going to go ahead and see right through that, help me out and find those images uh, containing Coca-Cola products. And a final cool feature that we can see with smart search is the ability to understand languages. So uh, I go with Biblioteca. Hopefully I'm not doing a different language and a spelling mistake, but it'll probably help me if I do. As we can see, it's going to translate that for me. It's going to use the optical character recognition we saw earlier, to pick up the tags on the buildings. And it's also going to understand that libraries are places with lots of books. And finally, if we turn that off again, we will not be able to find it because no one has tagged uh, Spanish metadata into the system. Now we don't have any uh, examples yet for this one because it's so new, but hopefully maybe someone in the crowd can be our uh, customer example next year. All right, so on to the third AI feature that we wanted to share with you today uh, is our face recognition. So what this does is it allows organizations to identify 
people within photos that all the assets they're in will automatically be identified, searchable and grouped together for easy management. Benefit of this is it allows you to eliminate hours of manual tagging and searching, of course. You can automatically tag and archive images such as event participants or hired talent when they need to be expired. You can track your employees and figureheads and enables you to quickly go in and reject all those assets if someone were to leave the company. And also it allows us to keep track of and reject marketing materials and may contain, say, a model who we have now expired or we don't have active usage rights any longer. Again, we can hop over into the dam and see how this looks in action. So within Media LA, we're gonna have a people tab. Uh, it gives us two different sections. We have our identified individuals. So these are people the dam has identified as one individual within multiple assets. As you can see, John Smith here is within 38. And once we add the name, it's going to tag all those assets plus any future assets with John automatically so we can search as needed. Of course, we can edit this at any time and it'll update. And then we have our unidentified section where the system doesn't know who these people are, but they do know that they are in fact the same person in 12, 11, 11, 10 photos there. Again, if we add a name to this gentleman, it'll update those 12 and any future assets that we upload into the system. Uh, probably the biggest fan of this from at least the Media Valet family is monumental sports and entertainment. As we can all imagine, that industry, sports and entertainment, is probably one of the hungriest, if not the hungriest, when it comes to content. Uh, every game, every period, every goal, every concert needs hundreds of photos and videos. And uh, for those of you who don't know Monumental Sports Entertainment, they actually own several of these franchises. So they, uh, they own the Washington Wizards and the basketball team, the uh, WMB, WNBA uh, Washington Mystics, as well as the Washington Capitals and several other uh, entertainment and sports entities. And in the past, as you know, uh, in this industry, part of the business is players coming and going. And so if someone was traded previously, some individual on the team, probably some poor intern, would have to spend hours, if not days, going through these thousands of photos to ensure that we're no longer going to be using assets to contain this individual who's no longer part of our team. But uh, as we just demonstrated, with a click of a button, we can simply grab all the assets that uh, contain this player and either archive or delete as necessary. So on to the final piece that we wanted to share today is uh, extracting insight and value from our video content. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna hop right into demonstration. I think it's uh, best demonstrated by seeing So uh, just like my still assets, I have uploaded a about four-ish minute video into the dam and I've run that through our audio video intelligence tool here. And you'll see in just a moment, just like the uh, first feature that we looked at, it is automatically gonna provide me with a wide range of very valuable searchable metadata uh, for my disposal at my fingertips here. So first thing we'll notice is it picks up people. So because this is the first time I've uploaded uh, Forrest Gump, this is gonna be uh, unknown individuals, but we can go ahead and change this to Forrest. And you know, if they decide to come out with Forrest Gump too, and we upload that trailer, then it'll know that Forrest Gump is uh, in this video. And then just like the people uh, feature, all other metadata is gonna have the same ability to be able to scroll. So if I've selected Forrest, I can jump to timestamps where this individual exists. And again, the same will apply to all of these other metadata fields below. So there's common objects, topics, labels, even named entities. And it goes as far even to have emotion and the scenes within the video. And it's not just the visual aspect of videos that we can provide insights and value. All spoken word will also be transcribed into a transcript for you to use. And at this time, you can also translate it over 80 languages and then export uh, that transcription in multiple file formats. <clears throat> Someone from the Miva family who really likes this feature is Atoms. So they actually use both aspects, the visual and the audio. So they previously had to pay for a transcription service to transcribe all their video because they translate over 10 languages and distribute after their events. But now through this one feature within their dam, they're able to cut the cost and the effort of that workflow uh, by implementing ABI. And then above and beyond that, they also host uh, multiple times a year around the globe, large events, multi-day events that every single day pump out 
eight to 10 hours of 4K video. And in the past, if they were looking to make a trailer or a highlight reel, or as they put it, a hype reel, they would then have to dig through all this content to find those little nuggets of gold, as they call them, to build these out. Whereas now, with the feature you just saw, they can search for these uh, either individuals or topics such as cryptocurrency, uh, saving them again, like you all wanted, a lot of manual work and, uh, and freeing them up for those more high value tasks that uh, everyone wants to do. Uh, and so really, yeah, that just wraps it up the whole, all of it together, saving your team time, energy, and increasing the ROI of your assets. And that is all we wanted to share today. So I'm happy to pass that back over to Ian uh, or to the crowd and see if there's anything we want to discuss further. Yes, we uh, seem to have a bit of a heated conversation in the chat, Evan. So I'll, I'll put oh, yeah. questions to you. Yeah, there's some discussion about kind of tagging perceived races and genders, uh, which is obviously a, a tricky subject. But um, mm -hmm. so just to get started, um, for AI tagging, it's mm -hmm. only, and this is from Bo, so currently only applicable to images. I was wondering, is this plan, any plans to expand this to video assets in the future? So while the auto tagging is a separate feature from ABI, they do both provide essentially the same service. I could actually, while we're sharing, show where we can have. So this information here from our insights is also available in the detailed info, right along with our image intelligence. So. If you have run your asset, your video asset through the Media Valley AVI, you will have all of that metadata shown as searchable information right alongside. So while it's not going to be added, there's no plan to have it as a feature at automatically run it upload, uh, it, you do have a very comparable service right here at your fingertips uh, when you have AVI. Excellent. Um, and now this one comes in from Vincent, and I'm not sure if you know this one, but does the AI recognize and or meta tag based on perceived race and gender? Is that something that? No. So something that uh, we should have added is that, so our AI features uh, are features that we use that are built by Microsoft. And so we adhere to all the same AI policies that Microsoft does. They have a, a very complex and uh, up-to-date, I guess they call it their safe artificial intelligence documentation and policies. So maybe Ian, we can include that in the uh, portal at the end of this. Uh, but no, I don't have all the details right here, Vincent, but I do know that Microsoft has made a decision. They're not going to tag or assume uh, gender, race, age, or anything like that. Excellent. Um, this one comes in from Jesse. Um, does Media Valley have translation in Hmong language? Let's find out. Ian, if you can spell that or just repeat it for me once we get into this. Yeah, uh, so it's H. I'll let you pop it up. H-M-O-N-G. Let's not watch Forrest Gump as much as we would like to. Yeah. So I'm on. It does not appear as if we do at the moment, but I do know that since I started showing this, the list has grown by at least 20 languages. Okay. So I wouldn't be surprised if they brought that in. Down the line. Perfect. Um, another one here from Chris. So if AI doesn't recognize the image, a person that I've identified by name, is there a way to tag that person manually? With uh, still? Yeah. Uh, not within the face or the people section here. So it's going to have to be, I'm in the wrong area. Uh, that would probably, the result of that would be that the asset doesn't have the quality necessary to identify the face, unfortunately. Gotcha. But then you can go in and tag them. And then from then on, they'll, they'll start showing up once they've been tagged manually. Yes. Perfect. Um, a question here from Rebecca. Does the AI transcript create an SRT file for closed captioning? Uh, it can, yes. So again, if we go back, I can show you all the formats that we can uh, export to.
here are all the formats that we can go to. Okay, excellent. Um, do the AI features come with every plan, and Kristen? Uh, so the features that you've seen today, all of them are included uh, in our base platform, except for the video intelligence will be dependent on the package that you uh, decide to go with. Excellent. Um, okay, we have one here from Delaney. Um, is the is the AI smart search built into the hot damn experience? So that's our new HDX hot damn experience or something we need to opt into. And my IT team likes to first vet any AI features. Uh, as of now, it is built into the system HDX, yes. Built into HDX, yeah. So that's built in. There would likely be a way to opt out though, if that's something that they didn't want. We could uh, make that happen as well. Perfect. Um, okay, and I think there's still a bit of back and forth here about preferences with search and Ruiz. Okay, everyone from Vincent, does the software have OCR capabilities? So if uploading yeah. assets that are 100% copy, would that data be recognized to create tags? Yeah, absolutely, Vincent. So OCR, optical character recognition, for those who aren't aware, uh, that is what we use for our text recognition. So it is uh, automatically in the system. If you upload a document, Vincent, every single piece of uh, text is gonna be transcribed into searchable metadata. Of course, that can be overwhelming. So by default, when you're searching in the advanced search, that is toggled off. In order to use it, you'll have to toggle it on. Okay, excellent. Um, another kind of moral question, I guess, here coming in. Um, this person's anonymous, but... Um, what should we do about people objecting to their photo being used, I guess, in an AI manner? Um, they're asking because they've had some objections from photographers on their team. Um, however, the features are, are very useful, clearly. So the best way I think to respond to that would just simply be to not tag that individual. Uh, the information that like is being used, so if an individual is uploaded, and they're identified as a person in the system, that information is not being shared back with Microsoft. So it is really just being used to say, this is one person. So if this individual didn't want to be tagged, I think that it would be an internal process decision for yourself just to not tag that individual. Perfect. And then it looks like we have one final question from Jesse. Is there a way to manually include custom smart tags to videos? that the system will automatically recognize and tag future related videos? Uh, as of now, that is not something that is offered from this uh, AI model. Something that we would love to see in the future, something we had asked about quite a bit, sort of that goes into machine learning. Uh, we would like that for uh, objects as well. You know, some of our manufacturers want to be able to teach the AI, you know, that this is a certain model of a, a phone or a computer or a car. Um, something that we don't currently have access to, but hopefully in the future we will. Gotcha, gotcha. And it looks like one more popped in here from Stevie. Um, can you attach model agreements to people that are tagged? Yep, so to do that, you simply have to upload the asset and then we have a related asset feature. So you'd be able to relate an asset to one another, could be exactly a model agreement, and then the photo, and then those two will be accessible with one another every time one of them is pulled up. Excellent. Perfect. Well, it looks like that might be the end of the questions, Evan. Um, All right. Thank you very much, everyone. you taken those questions on. We had quite a few being thrown at you there. Um, but yeah, brilliant, brilliant session. Appreciate you coming on. And um, folks, hope you will join us for the, the next few damn week sessions today and tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much for joining, everybody. All the best.